Hello, kindergarten students. Um, my name is Mr. Silberman, and today it's room 103's turn to look at um, this work in I Know My State of Washington in the I Know My State book. I know that you've done a lot of work in this book already. <coughs> All of these pages you've worked in. Our work today is going to begin on page number 8. That's this one. So please turn to that page right now. Tools that you'll need right now, have your markers ready, because we'll need them on this page for some of our work. And then having a pencil will also be important for right now, too. <clears throat> so first step, scanning the page to see what you see. looking at all of these different badges. <clears throat> the first part of today's lesson is going to be looking at and thinking about some state symbols that are important in the state of Washington, some Washington state symbols. Washington has many symbols, and, and these are just some of them that we are going to look at first. First, we're going to do some word work on this page. In this first sentence, there's one word missing, Washington mm, state symbols. Washington mm, state symbols. Thinking carefully about what word could go there, Washington mm, state, okay, yeah. You're using your pencil for this next piece of work. I'm going to use markers so it's a little bit more clear for you. Washington has state symbols. So that's the word you're going to write there. Has. This is not one of your kindergarten words. But this is a first grade word. Washington has state symbols. And then at the end of that sentence, Please add purple punctuation. Washington has state symbols. Next sentence, one word missing. Hmm, are some of them. Hmm, are some of them. Oh, okay. That, this sentence is describing what's happening on the page and what this page is showing. Here are some of them new sentence. So starting with a capital letter, H here. This is also a first grade word, H E R E. Here are some of them. And then end of that sentence, period, adding purple punctuation there. Here are some of them. This is the next sentence. I hmm, name some hmm, them. <clears throat> First grade word, I mean, kindergarten word here. I hmm, name some of uh, some hmm, them. Kindergarten word there. I, right, exactly. I can name some, hmm, them. Let's put that word in first. I can. Kindergarten word. Can. I can name some, hmm, them, right, of. That word was in the sentence before, too, of. I can name some of them. <clears throat> and then purple punctuation at the end of that sentence. Washington has state symbols. Here are some of them. I can name some of them. 
Right now, kindergarten red, underline kindergarten words that you see on this page. There are not many. <laughs> Washington has state symbols. Here are some of them. Oh, I. Okay. I can. Oh, yeah. That was a kindergarten word, too. I can name some of them. Okay. And then we also need first grade orange for this page. Underlining the word here. That's a first grade word. And you knew that one before. Here. And then underlining the word R. That's a first grade word. Here are some of them. <clears throat> and then you can <clears throat> make sure your marker snap cap is snapped so we can start looking at this part of the page. That's the state symbol or the badge part of the page. Looking at state symbols. We're going to start right here. Looking at what you're seeing there. Noticing what's in the picture. <clears throat> this is the state mammal, the Washington state mammal. This is called a western marmot. It is a mammal like a groundhog. <clears throat> the mam this is a mammal that may live in groups of over a dozen animals. A dozen means 12. They're very social. And they can be found throughout the area called the Olympic Peninsula. This is an animal that hibernates from September, the month of September, until May. The Washington State Mammal of a Western Marmot. Please get your brown marker ready for right now, because that's the color of the Western Marmot fur. And then put an outline in brown around the perimeter of this badge. The Washington State Mammal Western Marmot. <clears throat> Next, looking at this one, this is the Washington State Flower. It's a flower that many people have in their yards in Seattle. It's a flower that begins with letter R. And the flower is called a rhododendron. People might have seen that before in a yard somewhere. Very common in Seattle. Rhododendron. The Washington State flower. And right now, you can put the border around this badge with a flower color. Your choice of flower color that you want to put around the perimeter of this one. I think I'm going to choose pink. Rhododendron, the name of the Washington State flower. Next badge, <clears throat> that this one. <clears throat> this is the Washington State bird. <clears throat> Our state bird has a four-letter color word in its name. that word right there, the word gold. This bird is called the American goldfinch. <clears throat> Did you know that when it eats at a backyard feeder, it eats upside down? Nod your head if you already knew that, about a goldfinch, 
American Goldfinch. Right, okay, some people might have seen that before. <laughs> right now, <clears throat> please get color yellow and then put an outline around that badge. Yellow or, <clears throat> or gold because our Washington State bird is called a goldfinch, American goldfinch. Next, we're going to look at this badge right here. This one shows the Washington State Marine Mammal. Washington State Marine Mammal, called an orca. Orca whales is an animal that attracts many people, many tourists, to come to Washington State to try to see them. It's a significant symbol or image for Native American or indigenous, we'll talk about that later, indigenous culture. Pods, that's a word for groups of orca whales, migrate through Puget Sound each year. <clears throat> right now, please get your black marker, marker and outline this badge right now with black because orcas are a black and white whale. <clears throat> the Washington State Marine Mammal. Next, at this badge, See if you can recognize what kind of animal that is right there. This is the Washington State Amphibian. The Washington State Amphibian is called the Pacific Chorus Frog. Usually the word chorus means singing together. Our state amphibian is called the Pacific Chorus Frog. Think for a second about why you think it might have that name. The Pacific Chorus Frog. Why might it be called that? Thinking about that in your head, right now get the color green out. Green for the Pacific Chorus Frog. And then outline this badge in green. Next up, this badge. This is called a green darner. This badge is showing the Washington State insect. A green darner is a type of dragonfly. <clears throat> right now, you can outline that box in blue. We used the color green before for the frog, Pacific Chorus Frog. Green darners can often be seen flying in the sky, and that's why we use the color blue. The Washington State Insect, Green Darner. Next, we're looking at this badge here that shows the Washington State fruit, something that is eaten all over the world in the fruit that I bet you recognize. If you know the name of this fruit, say it right now. Yeah, right, okay. Apple. You knew that one. This is the Washington State fruit of an apple. Right now, um, please outline this badge with an apple color that you like. I'm going to use red because that's an apple color that I like. Red apples.
later, you can color it in. And then final badge on our page, that's this one. This is the Washington State Tree. The Washington State Tree is called a Western Hemlock. This one, we're going to use two colors, green and brown. Green for the needles on a Western Hemlock, and brown for the trunk. Doing that now. Brown for part. And green for part. And this is what we were looking at on this page. Washington State symbols. We looked at the Washington State Mammal, the Washington State flower. Mammal was a marmot, flower rhododendron. The Washington State bird, American goldfinch. The Washington State marine mammal, orca. The Washington State amphibian, Pacific chorus frog. The Washington State insect, a green darner dragonfly, Washington State fruit of an apple, and the Washington State tree, Western Hemlock. As I said before, Washington has many state symbols, and these are just some of them, some important ones for you to know about your state. Thank you for working on this page. Right now, you can put your tools away, pencil away, and close your book. And thank you so much for coming back today to look at Washington State Symbols.